That's why prompt engineering is not engineering. Now, let me show you what I mean about engineering and what engineering kind of looks like and why you want it to be deterministic and why this is engineering and what you're doing with prompts is not engineering. Okay, this is engineering because this if statement, if right is false, it cannot enter this control expression. It cannot. It cannot ever go this way. It must obey this. It can never go inside of this. I don't know. This probably sounds like it's a broken record, but I'm trying to be super clear, is that the, the laws of the universe say that only when right is true are you allowed to go in here. That means that when right is not true, it will go in here. Now imagine, if you will, that you're running this program and then just one out of every, let's say, million times, it decides, I'm going to go in here when right's false. No big deal. I'm just going to do it once out of every 10 million tries. Like, largely, it's doing the right thing. What could happen in that one case? What does that result in with the user, the user experience? What about the developers? How do developers debug this? How do they make this stop happening? So you get the user report that there's this bug and it went in here and you're looking at this code saying, well, the code looks right. And you're like, I don't think there's a bug here. And then you say, oh, that's right. It's stochastic though. Shoot. That's right. We use a stochastic system. And so once in a while, right could be false and go in here. Well, Bob, I guess we got to deal with that. That's what you have. And that is not engineering. That's not how engineering works. That's why prompt engineering is not engineering. It's something else. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's not engineering. And I think that people are doing themselves a big disservice by calling it engineering.